Well, there's a new series described as an intervention for helicopter parents gone wild. It's called World's Worst Mom. The woman behind it hopes to diffuse parental paranoia, and she might be familiar to you. Lenore Skenazy herself was labeled World's Worst Mom after letting her nine-year-old son take the New York City subway alone. Good morning, Lenore. Hi there, Mike. Hi to the Midwest. I'm a Midwestern gal. Hello. Oh, great. Where are you from? Uh, suburbs of Chicago. Yeah, not too far. Midwest. We like it. Uh, let's get back to that story. Yeah, freezing the, cold. Uh, yeah, it is. I know it's getting better right now, but let's get back to that. Uh, what became a national story. What kind of impact did that have on your family? Mm -hmm. Well, um, the impact it had is that we ended up on a lot of TV shows, and now my son is studying film. But um, basically, it was being labeled America's worst mom for trusting my kids. What my kids realized is that that's good. I mean, they get to get around on their own. And um, in the end, when my son was nine, he ended up sort of taking other children home with him because the mothers knew that he was independent. Yeah, well, things have changed drastically. I remember walking to school when I was in... I don't know, maybe first grade, and now it's you don't even th think about letting your kids in these parts walk to school in first grade. But did you rethink your parenting style after that all broke? And were you, I guess, were you still confident as a mom? Yeah, the thing is that I was confident as a mom, and also I'm a reporter by trade, and so I do my research, and I realized that crime was down since even when I was a kid. And my mom let me walk to school like, like your mom let you walk to school, starting at age five or six, and back then, the crossing guards were 10 years old. The crossing guards were the mm -hmm. fifth graders. Yeah. So how did we get to this point where it seems crazy to let a kid that age do anything on their own when a generation ago, when the crime rate was higher, <laughs> we let them be the crossing guards. We trusted them to be the babysitters. Um, there's really no reason for us to be this afraid for our children. Yeah, well, as you know, that 24-hour news cycle and everything gets reported nowadays if anything happens. And so uh, maybe it's more pre uh, prevalent or people see it a little bit more. But how did this show world's worst mom how did this come about well um the producers wanted to do a show about helicopter parenting helicopter parenting is the term for very overprotective very nervous parents and they needed somebody to be the interventionist and there i am on the web as the world's worst mom so they called me up and they said would you do this and i was like how do i know this is going to work me going into people's homes and basically taking very terrified usually the moms and sending their kids out while I sort of hold the moms, lock the doors and keep them inside the way they'd been doing with their kids. I'm like, how do I know that's gonna change anybody? But the first, the very first episode, the one that's coming up on Thursday night, um, I met with a mom who had not let her son, she was still feeding him. He's 10 years old, still wow. feeding him in his mouth. Not all the time, but some of the time. Wouldn't let him ride a bike, wouldn't let him walk to school, wouldn't let him ride a bus, wouldn't let him go on an overnight, wouldn't let him use a knife. So over the course of the four days, I teach him how to use a knife. And then we show videotapes to the mom of him using a knife. And you know what? She's very nervous, but then she sees he's not cutting off his fingers. The next day, this was the best part. This is when I realized this show was going to work. I said, okay, today your son's going to learn how to ride a bike. No, no, he can't ride a bike. What if he falls? What if he's frustrated? She right. was just as worried about him being frustrated as scraping his knee. I said, well, that happens to all of us when you learn how to ride a bike. It's not the easiest thing, but it can be done. And so we got him a bike put him on it, give him a helmet because I believe in safety. I'm not a daredevil. And after about, I'd say, 45 minutes, he pretty much got the hang of it. And then he was riding. Not great. He kept going in circles because he couldn't figure out how to go straight, but he was trying. And then when the cameras were outside of the house, the mom comes bursting inside of the house. This is so frustrating about TV. And her mother, the grandmother's there. And you know what she says to her grandmother? What's the that? grandmother, she said, guess what? Sammy can ride a bike. And the grandmother was <laughs> right. rushing and goes, what? Sammy can ride a bike? And it's like, yes, Sammy can ride a bike. And they're hugging each other and they're so happy. And I'm like, <laughs> you were the ones who wouldn't let him ride a right. bike. Right. And that's when I realized that, that the, the fear breaks through, that the reality of the kid being competent and happy breaks through the fear. Yeah, this is a great conversation. We go on and on with this. But I remember before my kids <laughs> even learned how to walk, we had them going up and down the stairs. You want them to learn those things. And I know that some other people didn't you agree do. letting our toddlers play on the stairs, but we did. They learned how to climb the stairs. But it's a, it's a great conversation. Uh, how protective should you be of your kids? World's Worst Mom premieres Thursday night at 8 o'clock on Discovery Life Channel. Great conversation, Lenore. Thanks for your time today. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thanks for letting your kids take the stairs. I know. Take the stairs. Let them play on the stairs right away. All right, Lenore. Let thanks them take so much. the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Mary, over to you.
Thank you, Mike. Great conversation there. It's a star-studded week around here. Three of the pros from Dancing with the Stars will join us tomorrow in studio. And comedian Tom Cotter from America's Got Talent will be here on Friday. If you miss a moment, catch up at OmahaMorningBlend.com. You can also watch the show live from your mobile device. Attention, fans of Dancing with the Stars, I just said it. We cannot wait to welcome the pros tomorrow. Yeah, you mentioned those three yes. big names. They will That's be right. here. We'll talk more after the break.